Well, I'm, my name is Alex, and this is my wife, Wendy. We own uh, Amazing Dry Cleaners, and we basically, um, once we found out what was going on in Puerto Rico, we wanted to do something about it. So once we got the information of where we can bring donations to, um, we realized it was all the way in Tampa. And we figured, hey, let's make it easier for the South Shore residents to be able to drop their things off and for us to bring it in bulk. Um, our first shipment was brought in on Tuesday, or I should say Saturday. And that, all those donations that came in over the weekend are already arrived in Puerto Rico today. That is wonderful. Um, it, it was sent by a private cargo plane. Um, there was donation, big end donations for the for the plane and for the uh, you know for the uh, the fuel and whatnot, and it all left out of Tampa this uh, today. When is the next plane leaving? Um, that information I do not have it as of yet. I am uh, talking with the uh, person who did the logistics, who was in charge. It's a group of um, pilots that that uh, worked out the logistics for the stuff to get to Puerto Rico. So um, people are asking when is the next plane leaving. How much more is needed for that flight to leave? And all those answers, I will have it, uh, you know, very shortly. So, okay. um, but in the meantime, you know, we can rest assured that the stuff that we are collecting here in Tampa um, is actually making it on the way to Puerto Rico because it's all, it's basically all private, either donors or private time of, of individuals. Um, there's pilots that flew in from uh, uh, the state of uh, Texas. Um, to so Texas is helping us in Puerto Rico. Imagine right. that. Yeah, exactly. So. You know, we're very excited to be a part of the community in, in Tampa Bay to be able to uh, help out our brothers and sisters in, in Puerto Rico and, and, and knowing that the stuff is not sitting in containers. Right, um, or being held up or with being red held tape. Up for, for red tape and whatnot because, you know, other things are going on that doesn't allow funds for those containers to be shipped over. So, um, as you can see, the uh, lobby is full of stuff with donations. We have more stuff that's just coming into different locations that we have established. So. Um, in the South Shore area, so it's only going to grow from here, and I know that um, with you know with God's help, we're going to be able to secure more flights mm -hmm. um, to to the island and, and get the stuff to the uh, people that really need it. What phone number can people reach you at? Um, the phone number that they can reach us at is 813-422-4978. Uh, okay. um, that would be my cell phone. Um, they can call me as far as any questions that they have. Uh, as far as you know, what to bring, you know, as you as you can probably tell about from the news, you know, they're in short supply of water, um, uh, canned foods, but some some places were completely flooded, so they lost everything. So, you know, clothing, uh, people are bringing in shoes, silverware, you name it, you know, plates, uh, all kinds of stuff is being donated to, you know, for not only for humans but also for the. Uh, Animals as well, animals dog as well. food. We have, uh, exactly, is there a big food. equine community there? Are there horses and Correct, things like that? Correct, definitely. There's definitely. a lot of horses there. So you know, it's, you know, they mostly eat hay, but we, you know, we feel that uh, you know, the things we were doing and, and it's slowly you know coming on its feet. And it's only been a week since the hurricane, so um, we don't know exactly everything that they do need. Once the communication starts to establish more, we'll probably update the list as far as things that we do need. To to be brought in. Um, what airport are they flying into right now? San Juan. San Juan. The radar is down, so they can only do day trips. Oh my! So they're actually flying in like, you know, the old, the old-fashioned way of flying in. Um, they're using somewhat, you know, 50/50 as far as uh, communicating with each other, as far as the, uh, the pilots. Um, so. Yeah, I think that um, they have it up and running though. I, I think I, mom, I heard, read a news about that, but okay, you know, so with everything going on, you know, what's true and what's not. Right. Wonderful. What else can people do to help out? Th there are different organizations that are, that are taking in, like, uh, as far as money donations. Okay. Um, I would encourage people to do the research, you know, figure out what's, you know, what's being sent, you know, where, and what's, if it's going to be for immediate help or if it's going to be done for con construction, you know, down the road. So, you know, if, if you can't help by bringing in donations and you want to help, you know, by, you know, donating money, there's different organizations, you know, they can look it up on Bay News 9. There's a few of them in there. Wonderful. Um, as far as once the planes arrive, how do the food and water supplies and clothing get donated the or the distributed? The flight was, was uh, orchestrated with different churches um, in different communities, okay. and, and this is being distributed to them, for them to distribute to their local communities. This um, is real grassroots then. Exactly. Well, it's definitely because, like I said, you know, it's, it's something that's being done um, with, with volunteers from you know both sides. So what they did secure was... Um, they also see, they also had security in place to make sure that everything is is, is done smoothly. 
Wonderful. Well, I really want to thank you for everything that you're doing. There's a lot of people that really want to help support what you're doing. I'm going to take and put this on Facebook and get the word we out and everything. see what we can do to get more people behind we'll be you. Posting pictures as well as the so you'll have pictures. Along. Hopefully the pilots yes. are taking photos yeah, when they land. Our, our, our right. page, you know, amazing cleaner page, and, and you'll find a you know, um, few photos there as of um, Saturday. Okay. Right. So so if we, we collect them when we brought it to the big collection on, on Saturday. We, you know, we posted pictures so people can see. Now we're hoping that you know that as they're doing this in Puerto Rico that they don't forget to take pictures so we can actually have um, show you know, all the people that donated what their stuff went. You know, and I think a lot of people in times of crisis like that want to see that their help actually goes directly to the people that need it the most. Exactly. And, That's and why. there's a big holdup going mm -hmm. on right now, mm -hmm. even with what we went through here in the local area with Hurricane Irma. You or can't that. get her, you know, FEMA help or anything like that. It's a nightmare. It takes forever. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. And, and then you know, at one point we were you know considering. Um, you know, sending a container ourselves to, diff you know, to a certain community in Puerto Rico, but as you already know, there's a lot of red tape, um, there, there's, uh, the, the fees to send a container is, is so... Oh, you know, we so got to thank the Jones Act for that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They yeah, won't yeah. cable that to help them yeah. out. So, you know, it's like, you know, how, what can we keep doing? And, and you know, God bless this organization, uh, uh, pilots, that they're, uh, you know, they put their a lot of effort into orchestrating and putting things together to be able to, um, and the donors, you know, the, the anonymous donors that donated the plane and the, and the fuel, um, they were the ones that contacted these people and, 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 and made it happen. So, you know, we're definitely looking forward to share more information, more answers, and, and hopefully more pictures so people can see and say, you know what, this stuff is really working. Let's, uh, let's keep donating to the, to the Tampa Bay Charities. All right. Thank you so much. You I really appreciate you. all your efforts.